Hello folks, and welcome back to Quarter Farm. Here we are, we've got some hay here, so... Yeah, we just collected some hay from the dealership, so... We're going to be putting this somewhere for the time being. Also, as you may have noticed, we've gone and collected some straw, so... The hay we got was from the dealership that... They just had for us when we had those issues with the game crashing and that, so... So yeah, for now, I'm just going to just simply offload these here. Like so. Turn you off. So yeah, we've still got another 750,000 years to collect. At any point we wish... Actually no, let's say... One more load, and then... Future hay that, we'll just have to do it ourselves in that. But the straw we paid for, we paid about 50 grand or so for all this, and I think it was like over 300,000 years. We've got straw here and that. And I think. Hop into the John Deere here a sec. We've got the mix wagon uh, all over here, because we need to top up our animals. We need to empty the manure from the cows because that is full and yeah I've got three bells in here already got another four bells here and for now the weather's looking nice so I'm not too worried about putting it all in storage already so spray the bedding in not sure how much this will take so if we have a look at our animals a sec so yeah, sheep looking good. Chickens could do more food soon. The cows here. I'm gonna keep on doing side it, not TMR and that, but once we've run out of TMR, I am just gonna do silage because at ninety percent efficiency. Again, it's not with all maps and that all animal pens. But if silage is at ninety percent, might as well just use that. So The rest of the straw in there. Rabbits, they're looking good. They didn't really consume too much. But yeah, the Angus is, they need some hay desperately, so we can go and do that. So yeah, we need to do that. We need to empty the cow pens, because. Yep, 10,000 litres of manure. Got a little bit of TMR in here, so. What we need to do is get all this sorted and then we'll focus on seeding for get all the grass planted, get the hay and then what we'll be looking at doing this episode is start doing some of the maize silage so I think the best way to get this all done is start with a little time lapse so yeah let's get these animals taken care of and then we'll start planting the grass
go. We've got every shift to do first. Took us two attempts to get everything done. That was because we had a game crash. This, as I was saving there for, oh, I haven't saved it for about an hour. Didn't start recording the episodes. So, yeah, I had to go on and redo everything. So that's why the time is slightly different compared to the time lapse, but. Yeah, apart from that, ain't too bad. But yeah, well, I've also gone done, done it in between episodes. I got a front tanker hooked up onto this, so this gives us a additional amount of liquid fertilizer. That should help with the ratio between liquid fertilizer and the seed in here. Yeah, it's not the hugest capacities, and even still, we'll get. Yeah, a fair few of these fields done. Maybe not all that one over there, but why are we doing all this hey, in case you missed on last episode of Yeah, last episode was interesting with pretty much the one FPS simulator of short pellets. I think what it came down to in the end, sort of looked at back at the footage and I looked back at what I was doing and remember also with the palletizer the thing you get sometimes is if there's bits left over, that doesn't come out. So when we put, I think it was a bit of straw in with the heat pellets, because we did straw pellets, it was all fine. Heat pellets, then we got straw from the contracts, and yeah, I think it was that one bag, or well, those couple of bags we mixed things up where it totally cocked everything up basically, so. That is obviously what's happened, so well we know I will just move on from here, but I think down the road when we do more pellets now, or if we do more pellets, yeah I may be inclined to look at other options like with like heat pellets we can store them in any of the side those straw pellets, I'm not sure but yeah, when we did the TMR for the cows, we got 450,000 years left, so a couple more months of TMR left for us at least, but still going to be sort of piling up on the silage and that. But yeah, as I was saying, there's options for hay pellets, they are hay pellets from the Straw Harvest DLC. So, yeah, enough for the hay pellets. That, but short pads didn't show up at all, so all you haven't tried putting into a silo, or see a scenario put into is big bags. But obviously, if you're doing it that way, then might as well just use the pre moss itself, maybe with a bell shredder or something, or without a bell shredder, load it all up and then dump it into these big bags and that. So otherwise, there's no real point in doing anything else with it. But yeah, profitable wise, as we learned, like it is extremely profitable when you sell at the right price. And also, if, well, I was thinking initially, the like, straw pellets we will sell for heating, and then the heat pellets itself we will sell. And then, do you think about, I don't know, store some of it for feed and bedding? So you can use those for bed and that, and it goes back up to the original map. So let's say we add 4,000 liters of pellets, that is 16,000 liters because it's a 4 to 1 ratio. Compacts it down by 25%. So yeah, 4,000 liters of pellets gets us 16,000 liters of hay or straw. But yeah, I know Miss CP's done a video, I think done something on Court Farm, I haven't watched it yet, I may watch it actually whilst we're doing the time lapse here in a bit and that, or whilst we're getting things done, like, again, the goal for this episode is get the scene done, I'll try to roll everything, but, yeah, worst case scenario, I may do some of it on camera, but the rest I'll just leave it and do it either off camera or not, depends on the fucking bother to do all the rolling. Because we've got a lot of fields to roll in. Yeah, not 
too short. I may roll a couple, like some of these bigger ones here. Like once I was like all grouped together, I may yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Uh, yeah, the rest. Yeah, maybe not so much. But yeah, we're doing this fine. We're at 30 miles an hour. I think you've got this 18 meter spread as well, I think it is. 16, 18 meters. Let's just go and confirm that. Sex, so go to planters. So yeah, it is 18.2 meters. Oops. Actually, except we'll put work on it. And I'll see now, we could do that, actually. No get work on it. Actually, how I've got the roller comax, so where's that two? That's, that's that over there, right? So we reconfigure that. Get onto the field roller, and then yeah, I'm thinking, well, do like the heads and around that big field down there, and then we'll just get the worker cracking on it. So yeah, no, what I was going to do is leave it at that, give it a go. Worst case scenario, I'll just do everything manually, but yeah. See what we're doing at the moment, so yeah. This gets done, and then we'll focus on doing the main side go we are in September we have planted rolled and fertilized the grass so 
Let's have a little look here. Everything's been fully fertilized. Everything has been rolled. Uh, yeah, all we now need to do is, really, sort of like as the idea of this episode, is start doing the slice works. Yep, yeah, this is almost ready. If it's going to harvest the corn that normally, also all of our root crops are ready. So we got a busy few months ahead of us. Got root crops now to do. Yeah, and these are our potatoes here, right? I think so. Yeah, potatoes are almost ready. So yeah, potatoes are almost ready, but our other root crops are ready, so... Yeah, we'll get cracking on that in a bit. But yeah, first of all, we'll show that, yes, money has gone down quite a bit. That's because, in preparation for all of this, I have gone and put some bunker side clamps down, because I know the ones we got are good. They hold about five, six hundred thousand litres, but that's only one. We've got two here, and I think we got one or two at Stonebridge. Even say four, that's only two million litres of silage, which, yeah, sounds a lot, but a lot more than that. Or at least a little bit more than that, and also, won't have space for compaction and all that. Which we should have our beacons on. But yeah, let's head over here a sec. So see, we've been busy, we put some stuff down, so yeah, it's up along here down the track. Which thing I love about using this vent here is just the speed of it, like it's absolutely huge. So yeah. Here we are anyway, so. First of all, we've got a little bit of shed in that, that's because I think of using like the fence in that. Think, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do that now. Put some stuff down. So, I want that. Also, a toolbox. Because, yeah, what I want to do is just go and grab this. Actually, no. Uh, actually, no. yeah, I think we'll do it this way. So, first of all, we want to put twin wheels on here. There we go. That's going to cost us 11 and a bit grand. Next, we'll need uh, some way to compact it. So, yeah, we could do our, your normal levelers and that. However, I think it's under... was it rollers? Is it these? No, I think it's... Oh no, it's not these ones, it's something else, so... Bear with me a sec whilst I go and get that sorted. There we go. I've got this. This is what we've used on... Uh, what was it? Finish Survival with the huge signage work we had to do on there. Basically, this is a mulcher. But it acts as a leveler as well, so when we get some silage put in, we can use this to com compact silage. And actually, it works really well. It compacts it super quickly. Actually, a lot better than what you typically would do, in fairness, what I would do is get something like this big old heavy tractor, get, you know, either like the lizard lightweights, which are three and a half tons each, or even the, uh, what was it, the one that comes with the case, I'm not sure if I got it, yeah I have, like something like this, like get two of those 15 tons, yeah this works a lot better, so let's actually have a look at the clamps, they're not tall and huge, but there are, in terms of the actual size, actually pretty big, also I've got these grates down, that is part of... I'll show you which pack it is. So if we go under to our silos, it is part of the bunker silo set. So this is the one where you get all the ramps and that. That's right, pretty much you can make your own like bunker silo. Actually, if I was on a much bigger capacity, like 
That is a lot bigger, about, what I'll say, 40, about 30, 40% 40 bigger, something like that. But yeah, it's this one, we want is the bunker silo tipping area, basically you want the dirt to be on the outside. So when you go and compact this, it doesn't leak out, so that is good. So yeah, we've got these down here. Let's go and hop into you. Because yeah, I want to so actually start doing some signage in this episode. And yeah, and actually want to test, actually we do have the correct equipment for compacting it. I know there's other mods that we can use, so we'll go and use those if needed. But I'm pretty sure the one we're using at the moment, the mulcher, the Actually, it's quite inexpensive to be f to be fair. So it's under mulchers. Yes, yeah, so these are MX6M. Can't remember who that is by, but yes, these are six MX6M. Six meter mulcher for like three grand for something like useful on which survival is absolutely huge. But yeah, it works even a lot better. It has a leveler. So yeah, let's head over to the corner fields. And yeah, get everything all hooked up and set up. Just bring the tanker back with us since we're all the way back to, from the dealership anyways. Seconds whilst I get all this set up. And there we go. So we've got everything all hooked up and ready. Got it all unfolded, so... Yeah, 50 meter header. This shouldn't take us too long to do. Yeah, I'm interested also to see like, how much this site additive lasts in that. And already that is almost 10,000 litres, so we've got a lot of chaff coming in, so yeah. Because, yeah, I think this is actually a good idea for us. It's going to be extremely profitable. Uh, yeah, what bought this forage harvester for what? 200 grand, 56% off. Even when you combine that with 125 grand for the header in there, and what was it, about 30 grand for the tray or so? What's that, about four, almost 400 grand almost? I think we can make our money back then. Or not, we can make it back with this one. Harvest, basically. I'm not sure, but let's get a couple of things sorted. And then let's go and see about getting all compacted.
here we go. This is load number three, I think it is. And yeah, overall, also cut through your sec. Yeah, not too bad. So we've done the first field. I've done the heading on the second. So it is 600,000 litres and we did have to make a correction with the bunker silos because I didn't realise the one I put down initially was a manure heap. Oops, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't realise what I put down initially was a manure heap so I was like, trying to put it down like why ain't they accepting? Yep, that's why. For a four four was like a land issue now, but no, nope, it's not the land. So that's why I put this bunker silo over here. But in hindsight, uh, it didn't need to. This cost us what eighty five grand. So just double check. This is load number three. Yeah. 10,000 years is what we tried to put in an issue. We did lose that money. Got rid of the silo for the manure heap over there, but what 10,000 years I can live with. So, just for now, what I want to do is just try to get this into one central pile. I put the, these little grates down. I did do a good job because with these, you can't do it on a set angle. Like make free control on that, like with the bunker side though, where you have a bit of free reign on where you want to put it to, so that's one thing to note. Yeah, I just want to get this down. Uh, maybe I should try to get it back a bit more if I can. There we go. Oh no, we're stuck. Yeah, if you open up the compaction, we're already at 10%. And, oh no, just slide down. There we go. Yep, do that. No, that's fine. Just push yourself up. There we go. And let me try to get us out of here a sec. There we go. Just get the heat vent. Massive tires. And yeah, jobs is a good one. So now this is completely empty. Hopefully, I've got the right equipment. So now we should just be able to compact this rather quickly. So, what I'm going to do is leave the help menu open. And yeah, just going over. We're at 12% already, so to get this unfolded, lower it down. So 12, 30%, 14, 15. Uh, wait a minute, why is it. Why is it removing it? Wait a minute. Was it this one we used? Oh, I knew this was a mulcher, but. I thought this was the one we used to compact it all. What's the one I used then? Because having a look here, unless it was under rollers, unless it was. Could have been one of those? Oh, I don't know. Bear me a sec whilst I do some quick testing, because I don't know what's going on here. So, right, I think I got everything correct now. Just corrected the money a bit, which we've, we've lost everything, we've lost off just items and that. So, anyways, I've got the correct one now. This is the Lizard Farming SL4M. So, you'll find this. So, if we go to our mods, it's not the MX6M, it's part of the Lizard Roller Pack. So, see, we've got cultivators we've got a roller in general but this is the one I think we need is the one that is for silo compacting and to find that out we'll be under miscellaneous don't think so no it's not under miscellaneous levelers
Now it will be under a silo compactor. So yeah, that's where you'll find it. 1800 quid. And just looking at that, there is a option where you could do like a double link up. Which I guess you've got a powerful enough tractor and that can go up these mountains, so... Anyway, it's back up to 600,000 litres, so... Please be right. There we go. That's, that's what we needed. The sea is shooting up. The compaction is like absolutely ludicrous, so... Idea what I want to do is try to get some chaff on the back of here, like push this back a bit. But yeah, you got this, and there's another one that was on the Mississippi's um, mod, mod, uh, mod review video maybe about a month ago, which is like a similar one. But rather than a bunch of little tires, it's like one big old massive. Like chunky toilet, like almost like a SW tire almost. But you can see we are compacting and already we are at 70%. And all you need to do is just keep on going with this, level it all out. I didn't want to spend time getting it all leveled out, get all perfect and smooth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that is absolutely. But yeah, she needs to do now is get some silage at the back. What I'll try to do is with the next load or two is try to push it back a bit. But yeah, already that is fully compacted. And yeah, this holds what 600,000 litres. So at the moment, that is more than what we'll get out of either silos. So I think we can get another one or two down. Also, I want that root crop storage as well. That's a hundred grand itself. Obviously, we've got contracts we can do. Contracts we need to do in September for the harvesting contracts. So I want to get some straw out of it. Just so that maybe we should get some more straw edits. Yeah, I know all the disaster we had in that episode, but overall. Ain't too bad doing pellet, so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. So next time we will continue on with this. Get us all compacted in that. And yeah, should I'll say six hundred thousand years this will hold at least another double that, at least like one point two five to one point five million. And to look at what we've done thus far, so we've got that, that, and just to confirm, so yeah, we'll say, what's that, about fit done, so I think we will need another one of these, so yeah. Anyways, as always, that's what I'm going to leave it today, and as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're not nice stay. But for now, it's a former Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.